What up y'all, this is Patrick Hayes and the title of this video is Spirit Vehicle Detox, cleansing your vessel from environmental toxins. And this is something that's huge because there's tons of toxins in the environment. Now this is something you probably know, but most people probably don't know that it's actually 310 kilos of toxic chemicals being released into the environment every second. 310 kilos every second. Now when you start to wrap your mind around how much that is, that's crazy. We all know how much a kilo is, right? So like you've seen those old like drug dealing movies where they have kilos of cocaine. That's like not a little amount, but every second, 310 of those, that's like absolutely ridiculous. So what do we do about that? Well, what I'm gonna share with you today is the different detox protocols that I have been using, or some of them at least that I've used over the years that have been tremendously helpful for this. Now, it's important for us to be able to detox our physical body because our physical body is very much like a platform for our higher self or our higher consciousness, right? If our physical body isn't intact, if it isn't clean, it can't actually get the signal from the higher entities and our higher self, right? So we can't actually even communicate with the more vast, more intelligent, more divine aspects of ourselves if our physical body isn't in shape. Our body's like technology, so if there's sand or dust or dirt in all the gears and circuits, it's actually not gonna work properly, right? So we need to cleanse that out so that we can have you know open streaming to the higher dimensions. Okay, so let me share a few things that I've been doing for quite some time now that help me. One of the things that I love is MSM and vitamin C, and this is something that I do on a regular basis. So uh, I'd say at least four or five days a week, when I wake up in the morning, I make a drink of water with vitamin C and MSM in it. And what MSM is, is a kind of sulfur that helps detox your liver, but it also makes your cell walls more permeable. So when your body's transferring nutrients into a cell or when it's detoxing toxins from a cell, it needs to travel through the cell wall. So when your cell walls are more permeable, you can detox more easily, but you can also uh, bring nutrients to your cells more easily. So MSM is really powerful. It does a lot of other things. It helps with inflammation, all sorts of different stuff. But I would recommend to take a look at it because MSM, like I said, is super, super powerful. Now what I do is I mix it with vitamin C. And vitamin C is uh, the second most powerful antioxidant that we know of, right? So vitamin C is really, really good at transmuting free radicals. So vitamin C and MSM is a huge thing and I do that on a regular basis. Now another one of my favorite detox supplements is activated charcoal. I'll actually show you the one that I use. Activated charcoal right here. And this is, is exactly what it sounds like. It's charcoal, but it's been activated, right? So it has a charge to it. And you can tell good activated charcoal because when you put it in water, it sizzles. Right now, I like this stuff because it's coconut charcoal. So they have some of it that they burn from from wood and um, and, and other things. But I like the one burned from coconut holes because that's it. Just feels a bit more natural to me. And I and I don't like you know if they were chopping down trees, that doesn't sound like um, like a good way to go. So I go with this uh, activated charcoal from coconut. So activated charcoal is huge because this is like um, this is actually used if you poison yourself. So if you go to the hospital because you've swallowed some sort of like crazy toxin, they will feed you activated charcoal. And that will pull the toxins actually into the cells of the charcoal, and then you'll pass it through your system. So it very much is like a, uh, it's like a sponge that will pull toxins into it and move it through you. If you actually have a stomach ache, if you've eaten something that is making you sick, the second you feel your stomach start to hurt, if you eat activated charcoal, it will make it go away. So this is actually really powerful because it just absorbs toxins like like crazy inside your system. Now the thing about activated charcoal is uh, it's not picky, meaning it'll suck anything into it. So it's not really a good idea if you just ate something that has a lot of nutrients in it that you want to absorb to take activated charcoal because that'll you know absorb the nutrients into the charcoal and pass that through your system. So what you would want to do is you want to take it like on an empty stomach or you want to take it after you've eaten something that is toxic or after you've been in an toxic environment or before you go into a toxic environment, but not right around the time that you've taken other supplements. Okay, now this next one, this is huge. This is C60. And C60 uh, hit the scene, I don't even know, maybe a few years ago with this study that has been absolutely groundbreaking. This study has shown that in rats, C60 extends the lifespan by 90%, which is absolutely insane as far as I'm concerned. Because think about that. That means if a rat was going to live 10 years, it would actually live 19 years. And that means if that transfers over to humans, that means like if we were gonna live 100 years and we took this every single day, we would live to 190. So this can almost double your lifespan according to the science in that study. So 
What is C60? Well, C60 is, uh, is carbon. So it's similar to the charcoal too, because charcoal uh, you know, has carbon in it also. But it's a special kind of carbon that is in the shape of a buckyball. And if you've ever heard of Buckminster Fuller, you can look up what a buckyball is, but it's very special geometry. What this geometry does is it minimizes free radicals. So it's basically a super high powered antioxidant. Now the next thing down in the food chain is vitamin C, but C60 is 172 times more powerful than vitamin C. And if you mix it with lemon, it's even more powerful than that. So what I do is, you know, once a day, probably five or six days a week, what I do is I take the dose of C60 and then I put a little bit of lemon with that and I swallow it down. It's in the olive oil, that's how it comes, and this is actually put in olive oil is how they did it in the actual study with the rats. And I get it from the same place that actually did the very study, the same place, the same actual C60 that was used in the study with the rats. So I'll put a link to that here in the comments. And if you wanna buy from them, I would recommend to buy from them. It's actually cheaper than the other ones too because a lot of the companies that sell C60 actually buy it from this company and then sell it. Okay, so some of the other things that I do is I do an infrared sauna. Now I have a near infrared sauna here at the house and I use that for various different reasons. One of the things that infrared sauna does is it detoxes you um, through your sweat gland. So you actually sweat toxins out. Now if you're not sweating something out, the only other way to really get toxins out is through your urine or through defecating, right? So it really brings a whole different dimension to detox. It gives you the ability to detox things without having to run it all the way through all of your organs and um, it can move directly out of your skin from the cells as opposed to having to move through your entire body. So the infrared sauna is the shit. Now one of the things that is really helpful with is detoxing heavy metals. And um, I have a protocol that I use for detoxing heavy metals that I typically do when, especially on days that are sprayed heavily. So one of the things that is in the air after spraying is uh, aluminum. And that's something that is really important to get out of our system because aluminum is connected to a lot of diseases, a lot of things like Alzheimer's, um, rheumatoid arthritis, autoimmune issues, all sorts of different stuff. Uh, so what I do is, especially on spray days, is I make sure to take certain supplements and then go into the infrared sauna. So some of the things I take is magnesium malate. Now magnesium malate is, uh, it binds to aluminum. So it's a great uh, detoxer of aluminum. So if you've been exposed to a lot of aluminum in some way or another, or you need to detox aluminum, magnesium malate, malate's a great way to bind to that and then pull it out of your system, right? So I'll take magnesium malate. What I'll also take is I use this, I've been using this one recently. It's a, it's a homeopathic uh, metal detox. So this helps with detoxing heavy metals. This one's pretty cool. And I've been liking this. So what I'll do is I'll take some of this and I'll take some chlorella and then I'll put the chlorella in the water that I take with me into the sauna and I'll sit in the sauna for half hour, 45 minutes and I'll drink the chlorella water. And this works like a charm. I come out of there feeling amazing. You can feel that head change when you've been in the environment when it's just one of those yucky days where the whole sky got covered. And then um, you just feel crappy. But then when I go into the sauna, I spend half hour, 45 minutes in the sauna, it's like it never happened. I feel amazing when I came out. So I really recommend if you have the access to uh, infrared sauna, I would start doing infrared saunas as much as you possibly can, or especially on those days when it's been extremely toxic in the environment. And when you blend it with things like chlorella and magnesium malate, and then some sort of homeopathics that you use for heavy metal detox, it really amplifies its effect. Now chlorella itself, Chlorella and an infrared sauna, th that pair of those two can detox like 80% of heavy metals. So, you know, 80% of the heavy metal issues or toxicities that you may have, that would be the cheapest and easiest way to detox that. So it's worth looking into either buying an infrared sauna or looking in your environment to see if there's one, you know, in your neighborhood or maybe a friend has one or maybe there's one in the gym somewhere that you can use. Now, another thing that comes in really handy when the air is dirty is cordyceps. Cordyceps is a medicinal mushroom that really, really is uh, amazing for your lungs. So if you're having respiratory issues, especially on spray days, then using some of that can really help bounce your lungs back. Now I could go on forever about all sorts of different supplements. I've tried all sorts of things over the years and there's tons of amazing stuff out there. But I just wanted to give you something that was quick and easy and simple and tell you basically what I'm doing today. These are, these are basically the protocols that I'm using on a regular basis today. And um, after all the years that I've been exploring this stuff, this seems to really work for me. I'm sure there's other things that I could do that could improve that. But right now this is what I'm up to 
to and I just wanted to share that so that you had an idea of what I was doing and maybe you could implement some of these foundational tools for yourself. So if you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments below. Like I said, I'm gonna put a link down there for the C60. That stuff is like super, super potent. So I'll go ahead and grab some of that. And if you have any comments, feel free to share. If you're interested in more videos like this, let me know and I could maybe cover some other topics if I am equipped to cover those topics. So uh, thanks so much for tuning in. This is Patrick Hayes. Like, subscribe, share with your friends and I'll talk to you next time.